Hi there, my name's James, and thank you so much for checking out my podcast, Dad Mind Matters, helping men to safely navigate family life without losing their minds. In this podcast episode, I'm going to be really brave and talk about all the things I've tried to do to make money online. I'm going to talk about all the things I've tried that haven't made any money, but I'm also going to talk about the things that are making me some money. I decided to set up this podcast because I really want to create a community that supports parents, specifically dads, and specifically dads like myself who often struggle with their mental health. If that sounds like something you'd like to support, please follow my podcast, or if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, please hit subscribe. I'm a happily married father of three and we live near Brighton on the south coast of the UK. We have three children under the age of 11 and a 12 week old puppy, which might explain why I'm now hiding in the spare room. (coughs) Brilliant. That probably means you just pooed in the hallway. Trying to make money is not a new thing. Trying to make money online has existed as long as being online has existed. And I was talking to someone who's mentoring me at the moment on a project I'm doing that really resonated. And in regards to the online courses or various schemes I've tried to do, she said, it's not that they don't work. It's more that it just doesn't work for you at the moment. Freaking dog. And that statement really stayed with me. And it made me think that actually all of the projects I've tried will have worked for people. I know they have because there were always loads and loads of testimonials and videos from people all over the world who said, this has changed my life. I don't have to work now. There are people who succeeded at all the online schemes I've tried. And so much of it comes down to timing and belief. And the one thing you may hear a lot of people say, which actually I can totally see is completely true. It's about the mindset. If your mindset isn't in the right place, it doesn't matter what you're trying, it's not gonna work. If you don't completely believe in whatever it is you're selling or promoting, it's gonna come through in your message. People are going to say, I don't think he's really behind this. If your agenda is about trying to make money quickly, that's going to come through. You're going to seem desperate. And if I look back at all the things I've ever tried to do, that's basically been the case. So just a quick disclaimer, if I mention one of the online things you've done, I'm not slagging them off. I'm not saying they don't work because I'm almost certain there are lots of cases where they do work. There'll be lots of people who have said, well, actually, that did totally change my life. It wasn't the course, it was me. (coughs) That flipping dog. Why am I the only person that has to get him in? So the first thing I think I can remember trying was Herbalife. And I think that was in about 2015. And as I said, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of people who swear by Herbalife. A lot of people that say, it's fantastic, it's changed my life. And I've got close friends who not only have used their products and have gone to completely change their physical fitness. So I'm not pouring cold water on Herbalife. But for whatever reason, I never really got behind it. I was always a bit half-hearted. I was probably a bit too worried about what people thought. And because I didn't really believe in the product, that probably came through. People were like, you're not really sure, are you? So if you're not really sure, then I'm definitely not sure. The one thing I've learned as you get older, instead of giving yourself a hard time about the things that you generally wanted to try to improve your life, to improve the life of your family, just accept it. Instead of feeling embarrassed or ashamed that you tried something that didn't work, be proud of yourself that you were looking to develop, you were looking to improve. That's okay. I'm sure so many people don't even try because they're worried about what other people think and they're scared of looking foolish. When I started training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu two weeks after my 40th birthday, one of the best things it ever gave me was the ability to start getting good at being bad, if you know what I mean. One of the best things about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is if you have anything resembling an ego, if you're still doing it within a year, you won't. It's a very humbling experience, and it really helps to install a beginner's mind. So Herbalife didn't work for whatever reason. The next thing I tried was Clean Easy, which again was a fantastic company, and I know there were people who were making money from it. The people who hired me were making money from it. But again, I wasn't really sure. When I look at the time when I took it up, I just lost a job. I was panicking about how I was going to make ends meet and pay the mortgage. So basically my driving emotion was fear. I wasn't excited about the project. I was excited about hopefully making some money that would bridge the gap. And that almost certainly would have come through. I don't think it cost me an awful lot to get started. A couple of hundred pounds. And I stuck with it for about six months. I prepped out all those brochures and went down and and delivered it to all the streets in my area. And collected them. I sold a few spatulas. 
I sold a few his and hers toweling robes. And whatever you say about it, it just didn't work for me. I just didn't have the mindset. I didn't really believe in it. I wasn't really excited about it. And I'm sure that came across. The next thing I try, which again, I know has made money for people. But again, people who are really passionate in it, people who really believe in it, were setting up as an online personal trainer. About 20 years ago, I worked in the gym industry. I worked as a personal trainer. I loved it. That said, me age 25, personal training people, probably in not bad physical condition, is very different from me age 45 trying to do the same thing online. But again, I paid for the course. I followed the lessons diligently. I did everything I was told to do. I stuck with it for six months. And actually, unlike some of the other things, my mindset started to change. Some of the lessons I got, there were some genuinely interesting things that I learned. But again, I was doing it because I just didn't like my old job and I was looking for a way out. So again, it was more of a mindset based on fear as opposed to faith and excitement. So it didn't really work. And I'm not saying any of these things to try and put you off. Because there might well be people out there who are doing some of the things I've mentioned who are like, why are you slagging off what I'm trying to do? I'm really not. All I'm saying is that it's about mindset. If you don't really believe in something, you can't force yourself to believe in something. If you're not really interested in something, you can't force yourself. If you don't really love something or love someone, you can't force yourself to do so. It just doesn't work. You can say all the right things. You can make all the right noises. But people are clever. And if you're not 100% behind it, they'll see. If you're not really excited about a project, they'll see. The proof is there. The things in life that I've done that have actually worked are the things I was genuinely passionate about. For example, me and a friend set up a charity after hearing about a woman who was trying to raise money to support children in one of the deprived areas of Nairobi in Kenya. I heard her story. I was inspired. I was inspired what this woman was trying to do and I wanted to help. I genuinely cared. And then when I told people about it, that I wanted to run the Dublin Marathon dressed as Batman and Robin to raise money for this woman, people could see that I was into it. And maybe people thought he's completely bonkers, but I really like what he's trying to do. His heart's in the right place. His head might not be, <laughs> but his heart is. And when it comes to my children, I'm 100% passionate. And as someone who struggled with his mental health on and off since his teens, the idea of setting up a podcast to try and help other dads who struggle with their mental health was a no-brainer. And I'm excited about it. And I don't mind doing the work. I don't mind hiding away in the spare room to record podcasts. I don't mind spending hours editing. I don't mind promoting it. I'm proud of it. Even if it looks a bit amateur and a bit hammy, I'm really proud of what I'm trying to do. And it's not about the money. If this one day makes me some money, then that's fantastic. But actually, I get a lot more out of it. The creative outlet of making podcasts and writing silly parody songs helps my mental health. And people get behind things that they can see you're passionate about. People don't get behind things they can see you're not passionate about. And the book, First Time Dad, that I've surreptitiously put on the radiator here, I was passionate about that. It's a story all about my experience of trying to support my partner through her first pregnancy and trying to keep calm and trying to stop myself panicking about potentially fainting and weeing in the maternity ward, which actually nearly happened at the birth of our second. I didn't wee myself, but I very nearly fainted. And actually, that wasn't difficult to write. This was me writing a story about something that happened 10 years previously. And because I was passionate about it and excited about it, it wasn't difficult to write. And therefore, it didn't feel like work. And OK, it's not a fantastic amount of money, but I'm starting to make some money. And it feels really good to make money from something you've created that you're genuinely proud of. We've still got a massive mortgage. I'm still a bit terrified about interest rates. But the 100 or 200 dollars I make a month pays off a bill. And there's also something really awesome when you create something and send it out in the world and someone buys it. It still amazes me every time I sell a copy of that book. And that's the stuff to triple down on, stuff you genuinely want to do. Life is too short to be delivering magazines to your neighbors in the middle of the night. If you don't believe it, people are going to sniff it out. So to summarize, I think what I would say when it comes to trying to do something that might make you some money, which might mean that one day you can sack the nine to five, it's got to be something you want to do. It's got to be something you're interested in. If you're chasing money or chasing status, it's not going to work. And hopefully having heard that I've been around the passive income online course block a few times, it might resonate a bit. I'm 47 years old now. I've written a book. I'm writing a second one and I've got a podcast. I'm also doing a new course and learning some skills about affiliate marketing. And I'm enjoying it. I'm actually finding it interesting. 
and it's starting to make a little bit of money. But more importantly, I'm interested in it. I'm going to stay in the game. And I'm pretty sure when it comes to success, that's what it's about. Picking something you actually want to do. It's like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I'll be completely honest, I never skip down to the academy. Like going for a run or going to the gym. The half an hour before, I'm quite often talking myself out of why I should go. Oh, you're a bit injured or you're a bit tired or you're a bit run down. But quite often, the best I ever feel in a week is when I'm biking home from jiu-jitsu, having had my ass kicked by other men. I've really challenged myself. I'm doing something that's not easy. I'm still doing something after seven years that is not easy. And I'm enjoying it. And because I'm enjoying it, I'm not focused on the next stripe or the next belt which is probably lucky because I'm not sure if that'll ever happen. But it doesn't matter. It's such a cliche, but it is about the journey. People who are winning are focused on the journey, not the destination. I really hope you got some of this podcast. And if you like what I'm trying to do, please follow it. Do you have a question about one of the online courses I did? If so, put it in the comments. As I've shamelessly mentioned several times throughout this podcast, I've recently written a book called First Time Dad, It's a 42-week guide to help dads support their partners through pregnancy. If you'd like a completely free digital copy of it, please let me know in the comments section or email me at mydadmissions at gmail.com. All I would hope for is that you write an honest review of it on Amazon once you've had a chance to take a look at it. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're okay. Take care. Dad Mind Matters, helping men safely navigate family life without losing their minds. Two podcasts every week on a Monday and a Thursday.